Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another theory slash speculation video for Dragon Ball Super. And joining me today, no man is an island, but this guy is his own nation. Josh from Dragon Ball Nation. You want to say hi, Josh? Hey guys, what's up? And that was actually the perfect way to introduce me, probably. <laughs> well, well, I'll, when, well, when Geekdom or Danny says I'm the king of power seal, and that feels pretty good, even though I don't think it's true. <laughs> I thought, yeah, that, I thought that might be fun. Anyway, guys, we're going to be speculating about something that we really don't know a whole lot about with Dragon Ball Super right now, but basically we got this kind of little tidbit at the end of episode 47 where Black or Black Goku, whatever you really want to call this guy, kind of seems to have this vendetta against the Saiyans or Trunks himself, but he's calling Trunks a Saiyan and he wants him dead. And basically we're we're left to wonder, why is this? I mean... Uh, Josh has talked about this. I've talked about this with some people as well. Saiyans don't call themselves Saiyans, and Saiyans don't hate other Saiyans. What's what do you think is going on here? I mean, well, like, not other Saiyans in the sense of the whole race wanting to be dead. At least I'm sure there's personal <laughs> vendettas, but I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so I'm just gonna like throw out my theory here, and Josh can tell me. And I want everyone who like just tell us your theories down below. We really want to hear what you guys have to think of why Black actually wants all the Saiyans dead, but. If you if you ask me, and you know you know me, guys, you know I have these weird, crazy, convoluted, never gonna happen in a million years type of theories or speculations about Dragon Ball Super. But if you ask me, <laughs> I would really like this guy because uh, I think Josh and I agree that this is not necessarily Goku. This is this entity, Black Goku or anything. It's not Goku. It's not universes or Trunks's timelines goku or anything like that it's just something else right like no it's not goten either um <laughs> i mean really to clear it up for people pretty much what's implied yes we know from the what torama said there's a new villain called black goku but from what the previews are saying and the episode you know previews and all that stuff they refer to him as black now i don't think they're trying to hide the fact that's black goku obviously because he's out all over the promotional stuff so I just feel like Black is an entity on its own and for whatever reason is taking the form of Goku for some reason. But it's not biologically or mentally, it's not any Goku that we know. Mm -hmm. Now in order to kind of tell you why I think Black, this entity Black, and I'll call him Black from now on instead of Black Goku just because of what, what, what was just said. But I feel like the reason Black hates the Saiyans is we have to go all the way back to the Battle of Gods movie and then the Battle of Gods arc of Dragon Ball Super. So in the movie when they call out Shenlong to kind of explain to them exactly how the Super Saiyan God is created, in the movie he goes on to explain that the reason they created the Super Saiyan God was in order to kill the evil-hearted Saiyans and they had all these kind of flashes to the Azarus killing all this stuff and then they had that red kind of silhouette of a Saiyan kind of taking him out but they said that oh my gosh he he actually ran out of power and was succumbed to evil the evil Saiyans by the time or before he was able to kill everything and in Dragon Ball Super, when they got to that part of the story, they didn't say anything about that. They said that the Namekians had this Namekian Book of Legends that kind of tells you that when you have six pure-hearted Saiyans coming together, which is incredibly rare, if they kind of pour their hearts into one individual, that individual becomes a Super Saiyan God. And if we're thinking about maybe this entity might have some kind of relation to the God hierarchy, whether it's good or evil, be it... A, Kai, a Kaioshin or a Makaioshin, like some people are theorizing, I think, wouldn't it be interesting if if it is a Makaioshin, if we have basically the, the Kais of creation, the Supreme Kais and all that, kind of creating all life, and then we have the Gods of Destruction, who's kind of the counterbalance balance between the good and evil, and instead of the Makaioshin actually creating evil life, they kind of act as this kind of pseudo- entity that kind of goes around and infests the hearts of pure-minded individuals people like the saiyans and when he was going around he found the saiyans and he infested their souls to become more evil and that's kind of why in universe 7 they're no longer in planet sadal that's why they kind of there was so much infighting and so much death and destruction they destroyed their own planet and they had to move to planet plant with planet with the tuffles and they originally and before frieza came and everything kind of got started off the reason this guy is back, at least my theory, the reason this guy is back is because as he was manipulating them, they became kind of closer to kind of the God hierarchy. And it might be really crazy to say, but because of this, and he was sitting there kind of manipulating these people for a long time and using these people as somewhat soldiers of whatever 
evil entity that he wanted to, they kind of got close to it. It could kind of help retroactively explain why the Super Saiyans exist or the Super Saiyan gods in general. But because there were six very rare pure-hearted Saiyans that were able to turn into a Super Saiyan god, they kind of turned into a Super Saiyan god and they were able to banish him or somehow make him obsolete until this very moment in time and now he's simply kind of woken up or come back into existence to some degree mad at the Saiyans and willing to take revenge on them. Josh, what do you think about that? Well, I can see the theory there. There are some points about it, but we're going to have to remember that in Dragon Ball Super, we're going to have to have that retold to us the part of the Super Saiyan God really combating some evil which was in Battle of Gods, you know, the evil Saiyans, like you said. But in this, they're going to probably have to tweak it to make it not be a Saiyan, to make it this enemy known as Black, because it's pretty clear he's not a Saiyan like we talked about. It's some new being or entity that is taking the form of Goku, but it's not exactly a Saiyan. And I don't know if that's going to happen. In a perfect world, we could see these things, like we were talking about off-air, wrapped up in a nice little bow tie, you know, like a nice little present. And having a perfect world here, I'm not sure if this is going to happen. It's a theory. Not a lot of our theories ever really do come true. There's the Mikaioshin theory that we have going around. There's, again, that theory about Goten, which I don't like. <laughs> Most of the time when we do theories about Dragon Ball, they tend to not be true because it's very hard to predict Toriyama. If you looked at first form Cell, would you have guessed that he's going to reach a perfect form by absorbing Android 17 and 18? Maybe not. Maybe you looked at his tail and be like, well, that looks a little suspicious. I don't know. But is this theory impossible? Not really, but I do have my resentments about it, I suppose. But I can see where you're coming from with it, and I think it is solid in its own right. And the idea that Black may have triggered the initial Saiyan villainous, I suppose or everything that was wrong with their race because, you know, we don't know if they were really truthfully always evil. Um, it, you could look at it even like this. Like, growing up as a kid, you always know that one family that was just a complete bunch of jerks. Every single person in that family because of their upbringing. And, you know, that could be another thing. There's so many different ways to look at this and I'm just bouncing off of what you said and kind of giving my spin on it. Um, I don't think that's what it's going to be, but it's a theory. I'm more strongly suited towards the side that this is some maybe evil Mikhail Shin that hates the Saiyans for whatever reason. I can't imagine why. It's obviously not towards Trunks. It's got to be, in my opinion, towards that original pack of Saiyans that were destroyed by Frieza. And I honestly can't figure out why. We'll have to see. Well, the way I would look at it, and I, and I completely understand where you're coming from. Personally, when we have theories or speculations about Dragon Ball Super. I haven't really come across many people who have actually been right on the nose for one particular reason. I mean, really, really forward-thinking theories like this. Not something like, okay, well, Boma's going to die after you see Trunks crying in the preview, and there's kind well, of... Well, obvious. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> there's stuff that's like genuinely, genuinely obvious like a week or two out just by kind of the press releases that we get or kind of the reality of the situation. So... These are, but these speculations that you and I have or do sometimes are just really forward thinking and like, oh, how is like this going to end? Why is this the case? Like, what is this particular little point? And we try to figure out bits and pieces to make kind of tangible sense to what's going on. And when you look at Super, the reason I kind of think about this is not only did they kind of leave off that little bit on who the Super Saiyan God was actually fighting the original one, be it Black or the Saiyans or anyone else who they kind of retroactively just put in there or re-explain to some degree, uh, be it through the Namekian Book of Legends or anything else, I feel like going in, if you take Super as a whole and kind of put it in basically Black's lap at this point. Like, if this guy is the reason that the Saiyans are really evil and go all this, have done all this stuff, and kind of because of him... Uh, the planet, the Saiyans in Universe 7 had to leave Planet Sadal, go to Planet Vegeta, that eventually gets planet uh, blown up by Frieza, that was kind of enacted by Beerus, whether that's really true or not, who really knows, and kind of leads all the way through Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and then now to Dragon Ball Super, in which Frieza comes back to kind of reestablish all that stuff that kind of happened. And then they go into the Universe 6 tournament, and the one thing we learn there is... Not only is Universe 6 a mirror image of Universe 7, 
and it doesn't necessarily equate to just because Frieza's evil in Universe 7, Universe 6's Frost is actually good. No, they're both basically still assholes, but the one big thing was the Saiyans in Universe 6 are, e are nice, good people. They weren't affected by anything or the same kind of resentment, evil, that the Universe 7 Saiyans were taken upon. And maybe that plays into it, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm really stretching, and I, I agree, I... I always stretch with this stuff, but to me, if they take all those little bits and pieces, there's going to be this kind of tangible story that they've been telling, whether it was retroactive or not, that would kind of wrap a really good bow around why we're here and why we're looking at this now. Right, I see what, I see what you mean. And I mean, going back to the universe thing, I mean, apart from the Saiyans being good, you know, we know these are, like you said, mirrored, or what we said was twin universes, and that can, I guess, be taken a bunch of different ways if people want to. You know, we know the Earth from that universe is actually, like, war-torn, and the whole human race was extinct. That's why they had to, like, well, that's why Beerus wished for it to be restored, so Shampa can go there and gorge on food and all that stuff. So, it's not a complete mirror. It's not, like, everything's opposite, like you said. But there definitely are select differences, and maybe... The universe seven or sorry six saiyans are a difference making them good or there was no change and the change was that black never saw them that's a possibility it's just you know at you know in the end it's just like do we know that the writers are going to ever try to wrap this all around you know because dragon ball is very simple very simple story i i agree and and one thing i have my fingers crossed and i think a lot of people do at this point too is hopefully just we can cross our fingers and hope that because the editorial department stepped in, that Toriyama stepped up his game. And we know that Toriyama can write a really compelling, really intricate story that's still simple if he's forced to. And and that has that there's a history there. I mean, we saw it in Dragon Ball, we saw we saw it even less frequently, but we saw it in Dragon Ball Z. We haven't necessarily seen it in Super, so let's just cross our fingers and hope that Maybe not particularly this, but something interesting is on the way, and they don't just completely botch all the potential that they have. Honestly, Toei just hire us for fact checks and <laughs> to look at the story because we we could make it a little bit better in our opinion, in my opinion at least. But hey, Toriyama hands those drafts to Toei and they do their own thing. So, which somebody somebody on this line has to care. I think somebody has somebody has to be just as passionate as us, but. Well, that's the one guy that probably has the least important job in the whole company. <laughs> so he has no say. <laughs> You're the guy in the mailroom writing his own fan fiction that's like beyond anything we have. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you, Josh, for joining me on this speculation. It's been a lot Absolutely. of fun actually having Absolutely. you. Always, always good to get really special guests on my channel every now and then. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope... Tell us what you think about these theories in the comment section below. Obviously, we're way out on a limb here, whether we're right or not. So tell us what you think about that. Do you not like it? Do you agree? Is, do you think it's something else? Why do you think Black hates the Saiyans? Anyway, I hope everyone has a really nice day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Josh's channel will be in the description below. If you haven't checked him out yet, I... Don't know why he has makes really great content, daily content. You should really go check him out. Anyway, I hope everyone has a good day. Bye.